Welcome to CKS Scenarios. And in this particular video, we will be discussing about image scanning. So what happens when you deploy an application onto a Kubernetes cluster? You use a artifact, which is an OCI image. Now that particular image might or might not have some vulnerabilities. In the end, what we want is the code that we write and when we package it, the image which is getting created should be CVE or vulnerabilities free. So there are various ways of doing it. One of the easiest way is using build safe. So you can use build safe and you will be able to create a zero CVE base image and a zero CVE image for your application. I have actually shown the process in my recent DevOps project video where we built the project using Build safe. But wait, in this video, we are not going to create a zero CV image. We are actually going to see some of the images and see what tool can we use to scan those images and see the critical or high vulnerabilities. Because the aim for this is CKS, which is Certified Kubernetes Security Specialty Exam. In that, there can be a scenario where you are being asked uh, to check which of the images are having vulnerabilities. Let's say for this particular scenario, we take three images, Nginx, HTTP, D and Alpine. And we are being tasked to kind of check which of the pods are having critical or high vulnerabilities. And then we have to store it at a particular file path. So let's try to execute this scenario and see how it is being done. The tool that we will be using is called Privy. Trivi is pretty standard tool and in CKS, you also have access to Trivi. So you will be having the access to Trivi, you will be using Trivi and we'll be trying to scan the images. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So let's see it in action. So right now there is no Kubernetes pod that I have created. So what we are going to do is we'll be creating three pods with the images. So first is kubectl run p1 with the image nginx, then will be with sttpd and let's name it p2 and for the third one we are taking alpine and for this we will be using p3 so now we have three pods and you can see they are running an in container creating status although we are not worried about the pod status or whether it's running or not we are only concerned about the images with which the pod is being created in are those images having any vulnerabilities? For that, what we are going to use is we are going to use Trivi, which we have already installed, which you will also get the access to when you are in the exam. So you can see Trivi is already here. And the account is pretty simple. Trivi image and the image name, but we are only going to see if the severity is high and critical. So let's do that for Nginx. And it is scanning the database and will give us the results for that. Now, as you can see, there is critical vulnerability, high vulnerability. So there are a lot of vulnerabilities in this particular image, which is Nginx. Now let's do that for STTBD. And we can see in STTBD as well, there are certain vulnerabilities. Now let's do that for Alpine. And we can see there is no vulnerabilities. So as per this particular scenario where we need to find out the images that the pods are running, which we can also do using the JSON path. Uh, and we can see we have pods in a particular namespace which are running these images. And then we run the Trivi command to scan for the high and critical vulnerabilities. And now the next step is to put that in one particular file, which is actually having those vulnerabilities. So in our case, Nginx and STTPD, which means pod P1 and P2 are having those. So we'll put these names in a file. And that's pretty simple, like echo P1 and then P2 to maybe slash TMP, whatever the location is specified. But in this particular case, we'll just use slash TMP slash bad images dot TXT. And let's do a cat of this. And there we go. So the whole idea for this scenario is that you should be able to understand that image scanning is pretty important. Creating CVE 
free images is pretty important in production and if there are tools like you can use chain guard images which are cve free you can use build safe to create zero cve base images and you can use the tools like reweave in your ci pipelines and continuous scan of your images to see if you do not have any vulnerabilities if you have then it's time that you take some other action and make it cve free or vulnerability free especially the high and the critical one and in this particular scenario we have scanned the pods which are running in a default namespace and we have scanned all the images using Trivi and we have put the bad images used pods in a particular file. So that's it for this particular CK scenario. If you're enjoying the series, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and share this with whosoever wants to clear Kubernetes CKS certification exam. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.